everyone. Welcome back to the 12 Days of Christmas. I'm Sue Molden, your Pampered Chef Consultant for today, and we are making Half-Baked Harvest's uh, Easy Vanilla Bean Cookies. So this is a super easy recipe. We're going to use one and a half sticks of butter. We're going to take 12 sticks of butter at room temperature. So you're going to want to pull those out of the fridge early, and you're going to want to pull one egg out of the fridge early. You want that to be at room temperature as well. You're going to take six of the tablespoons of butter and you're gonna put it in a nonstick pan and you're gonna get it going until it's boiling and bubbly. That will make it turn brown. It'll kind of caramelize it a little bit and then you're just gonna stick it into um, like a one cup prep bowl, some type of heat proof uh, container that you can stick in the freezer. So you're gonna stick that into the freezer and you're going to cream the rest of your butter and you're going to add into that some hazelnut liqueur and some double Madagascar bourbon vanilla. And then we are going to add three quarters of a cup of sugar. So I've already done that here in our new um, bowls. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to add a half a teaspoon of your kosher salt and a half a teaspoon of baking soda, not baking powder. And you're gonna mix that in with your flour so that it gets well incorporated before you mix that in here. All right, so we're getting bubbly. It's starting to look good. It needs about a minute or so more. Then what we're gonna do is once that is bubbly, I'm gonna put it in the freezer for 10 minutes. I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna splice my video together. I'm gonna to add that here. I'm gonna add the egg and mix those together. Then I'm gonna add in the flour and then we'll be ready to roll out our cookie doughs and we're going to be able to cut them with whatever shape you would like. We are going to decorate them with red and green M&Ms. And let me show you, and again, I post the, the video, but let me show you these beautiful cookies that Tegan made. Now again, this is Half Baked Harvest. I'll put her website as well on here so that you guys can um, see other amazing recipes that she does. So I will see you guys online in just a minute. So I'm back, 10 minutes has gone by, let's get going. So I will post a picture of what it looked like before I put it in the refrigerator, but you can see the butter, it's got the foam on the top and it's like caramel colored now. And that's what she was saying that we wanted to look for. So we're gonna add that as well as our egg at room temperature. And then we're gonna finish beating that up. And where is my spatula? that I was using, just stuck it in the sink. We'll just grab another one. So um, I used the one cup prep bowl after I heated the uh, butter into like a caramel to make it um, so that it's heat safe and then it goes right into the uh, uh, freezer. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and beat this up a little bit. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our flour. And you're supposed to add your flour a little at a time so that you can get the ingredients all mixed well. So um, just shake a little in, go around a few times, make sure it gets really well incorporated. Once you know it's incorporated, add a little bit more. I think part of that is because you'll end up getting, um, you know, a lot more air mixed in and you're gonna have a really good computer uh, that was the 10 minutes. I said make sure that we don't do it for more than 10 minutes. You probably notice in the background I got one of our new Brilliance cookware going because it's dinner time and I have to finish I have to finish cookies and get dinner going. So I'll talk about that cookware for you as well. I did the butter in our um, executive non-stick cookware which has a lifetime warranty and then I am cooking pasta to make mac and cheese in our new Brilliance cookware, 10 year warranty, and it is super durable, and it'll compete with anything that's on the market, and I'll post some photos of that as well. Okay, so we got our cookie dough all ready. So at this point, we're gonna add a little flour, we're gonna roll it out, and we're gonna make cookies. So that's it for the dough. I will show you the icing and uh, the finished part in a little bit. 